Hey there, and welcome to this video. Today, we are going to be talking about Google Scholar and how to use it to ensure that you are getting the most out of the resources available on Google Scholar. So let's go ahead and head over to Google Scholar. Of course, you can just Google Google Scholar or do scholar.google.com and you'll be there. Of course, this is what Google Scholar looks like. And a lot of people love using Google Scholar because it's just like Google search, but for academics, right? So let's do a little diving in here. Let's say we were looking for information about censorship and school libraries. So we're going to use the AND Boolean operator to connect the word censorship and the word school libraries. And then of course we have school libraries in quotations to keep that term together. So let's go ahead and hit search. So when you're searching using Google Scholar, this is probably a pretty familiar site, right? We have a huge list of results, and every now and then you'll see something to the right-hand side that says PDF. Sometimes this will take you to a publisher's website where they want you to pay. Sometimes it will take you to where someone's illegally uploaded the material. But a lot of the time you are going to be seeing articles that you do not have access to. If you just click on the links, it'll take you to a page asking you to pay for the PDF. Every now and then you'll get lucky like we just did and you'll have access to that article. And in this case, this article is provided by free access. So that is why we were able to view this article, but you won't find that very often. One of my favorite tips is to ensure that you are setting up library links. You're going to go over here to that hamburger looking option and do settings. Next, click on library links. So you'll see here, I don't have anything set. I actually thought I did, so I'm kind of glad I don't so I can show you more about how library links work. So what I'm going to do now is type in University of South Carolina and hit search. So I'm going to click on this option here, University of South Carolina, University Libraries, view it, a U of SC, because this is the holdings for the Columbia campus. You'll see that every campus has their own link. But if you are getting your degree via the Columbia campus, this is the option that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now let's look at these results. Do you see that they look different? We have this option now that says View It at U of SC. And it's on these articles, some of these articles, that we didn't have access to before. So now you can just click on view it at U of SC and you'll be taken to the listing for where we have access to that item. Now sometimes it'll pull up just like this and you can click on the PDF full text. Other times it might require a little bit more clicking to get the article. So now you don't have to stress when using Google Scholar to get access to articles. Now I'm going to hit the back button a few times to get us back to our search page. Now, something I want to caution you on is that we have to rely on Google for updating these records. We don't, we can't just ask them to update it that day. We can't say, hey, something went wrong. Can we get this updated? And so it's not always correct. Sometimes we do actually have access to something and it's not showing here on the right hand side. So this can be a really great option when you are starting your research 
and looking for articles. But don't hesitate to go the extra step and actually use the University Library's webpage to see if we do have access to that article. Keep in mind, if we don't have access to that article, we can request it through Interlibrary Loan, which is a free service to faculty, students, and staff of the university. So check back in another video to learn more about using Interlibrary Loan and how to double check and see if we have access to a journal. But now you're ready to go and use Google Scholar a little more effectively. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact a librarian. Bye!